As you can see, we bought some suction cup things, and um, we'll call them things. Uh, they're laser suction cups from Halford. They don't have any lasers in them, disappointingly. I know. I thought it was a bargain. I was going to say, like, laser, laser, laser guided uh, suction cups, yeah. But we put them on, and they pulled out this bit. But this bit's a bit much, so we're going to take off the panel, get a block of wood, and uh, give it a knack and see what happens. You will need a 10, a 12, and a 14. 10s for this. Me. 14 for the bit with the seatbelt bar, and a 12 for this. So this is the bolt that needs to come out. And for once, I'm not tightening it. I know, it's a good sign. It's got it maybe a little bit further on the other side. We're getting there. Block of wood wedged in door panel. As you can see. So, we can put our hand in there and we can push it out and it does stay out for about 0.1 of a second and then pops back. Yeah. It but does. if we get the bottom bit, I think that should work, shouldn't it? Yes. The thing is, the panel is actually quite large. Um, it's pretty much this entire bit around the window and uh, around the back here, excluding this bit of the speaker. Um, so. Oh, and there's no guides on YouTube for some reason, <laughs> for, typically no for this door card. Yeah. Which we thought we better make one. Because I'm sure not, we're not the only people that will be removing the door card of an EJ9 in the rear of a three door. Or an EK9 for that matter. Yeah, or an EK9, yeah. Basically the same uh, Just principle. to um, clear things up, this is an EJ9 before anyone goes. It's not an EK9, yes we're aware, it has the a 1.4 injection engine. Mm. We don't even know if it's got a VTEC engine. Seems to perform like it's got one, but doesn't say it anyway. Mm. It might be their uh, their sneaky IV tech thing they did on some of the uh, exactly. the Accords and I think the sort of lower end model of the Prelude. But we are by no means Honda professionals. Nice. Case in point. Yes. <laughs> We've uh, removed the cover of the speaker and removed some more bolts because the speaker is attached to this entire sort of uh, and if you shake that unit. Alice? And if I shake you can that, see it now starts to move. And I have a feeling there's going to be some more clips and stuff under here. And I think it'll just pop window. off, won't it? Yeah. So we're just taking out this final bolt, well, screw. And um, let's see what happens. So as you can see, we've removed all the screws. Alice is now going to lift off the part. Let me show you, I just pull. Yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, 6 9 I nice. did not expect 6 x 9 Ah, that'll be it. There's another, uh, there's another few bolts okay. in here as well, so... Grab right. the... This is a bigger job than we expected, but yeah, <laughs> still needs doing. Now we're just going to remove this final screw. So it's, well, there's a few more screws on the speaker, but... Okay. It's final... Final screws for the speakers. Ah! Now remove... The side panel and the rear door card. Um, challenging isn't the word. Had to remove the upright back seat. Ellis removed the rear speaker mount. And then it just uh, needed persuading. As you can see, we've got out now, so we've got full access to this rear wing so we can start knocking it out and see what happens. Here's a close-up. As you can see, we've removed a fair chunk of the dent. I mean, there's a bit where it's kind of like been buckled and scratched at the same time, so... Mm, without either cutting it out or having some real skill in knocking it out. But considering we had a block of wood and a hammer, I think we did a, a rather good job, to be honest. It's certainly not as noticeable as it was when we picked it up. Time to put the rear door card in, surround. As you can see, we're removing the pop rivets and putting them back in the panel. Just makes it a bit easier. Instead of trying to hook them over. 
They just literally grab, pull. As you can see, we're just about to bolt this back up. Get these nice and tight because obviously they hold your seatbelt bar in place. <laughs> Tighten up the front one as well, which we loosened off so we could pull out the panel. Okay, nice and tight. As you can see, everything is now properly aligned, so it's all a point of basically bolting things back up. The pot rivets have gone back in very nicely. Unlike the Mark II, where they tend to snap all the time, the Golf is um, notorious for pop rivets snapping. We've managed to get the door panel back on. Um, we've got it fully flush and in the right places to put the bolts in. So we need to put two bolts back in the seat. We need to bolt it directly back through the rear door card. We need to bolt that there, then that. The rear seat's in the back, so that needs four bolts putting in, two on the left, two on the right. And then we'll put the rest of the clips in and reattach the speaker and so on and so forth. Oh, and also bolt back up the seatbelt. But that's how you remove and refit the rear panel in an EK9 or an EJ9 if you happen to have drifted into, I don't know, say, something rather heavy or somebody's reversed into you in the car park because there was no guides because I couldn't find any guides on YouTube anywhere on how to do this so we thought mm, we need to do it why not document it as you can see I've started to bolt that back up so that's the mount for the rear seat line up the mounts with the holes on the rear of the seat like that like that put the bolts in and then tighten so there we go we'll fully bolt it up with all the covers and the plastic pot rivets back in the seat holding the fabric back on absolutely amazing what we've managed to achieve with this car in the last I suppose it's about 36 hours or something. And we're not finished yet. So yeah, not quite as challenging as we expected. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not particularly easy to get this out and then get it back in and realigned. But, if you're familiar with cars and you've at least moved, you know, removed a few interiors or changed seats or whatever, then it is very, very doable especially if you pick the car up for um, a rather princely sum or well, not in this case Alice is now putting the screws back in the top of the panel they're the ones that I haven't fitted yet but they're the ones that Alice removed so I had no clue what went where realistically I'd have probably worked it out but it's far better for Alice just to put them back thing is these little clips here um, you actually put clips in first and then the screws are inside them. Ah, like retaining the, clips. Yeah, and the, mm. and the screws sit sort of flush to it. Okay. So if you're a bit confused about like when you take them out and it looks, well, it looks odd that only a small bit's coming out, just remember just to get these clips out. You can pull them out with a finger now even on an older car like this. Sounds similar to the pop rivets I removed yesterday. They didn't come out on the door card. For some reason, they managed to slide out of the little sleeves on the door card and stay right. in the door without snapping any of it, yeah. which is unheard of because the Mark II Golf eats them for fun. <laughs> you end up buying new bags off eBay. Yeah. So yeah, the EJ9 is being nice. Ah, that's how they go in. 
So this one is pushing into click first. If you have any queries about your EJ9 or your EK9 of stripping interiors and tweaking bits and bats on the inside of the car, even the exterior, leave a question below or a query or whatever. And what we'll try and do is recreate it with ours. And then that way we can give you a solution through video. Mm. So as you can see, Alice is putting the final screws back into the housing for the speaker. That's right. And then we can put the parcel shelf back in. We've already changed the wheel. We've knocked out the dents put all the interior back together. We've popped out the front bump as much as we can on that bumper. It's yeah. like a dint thing. I feel like new bumpers may be in order as well for the future. Yeah, yeah. We'll see what we can do. Yeah. But what we've managed to do in 48 hours now is um, pretty phenomenal, really. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with how, uh, how well it's progressed from when we got it. Yeah, exactly. Alright, so just the last screw here. Yeah, we've got a couple of things left over, which we'll probably have to work out what they are. There we go. Right, Looks cool. Good. What are these? Uh, that's the speaker that we were going to put yeah, in. Very good. The... What about the bolt? Oh. Is that just a spare bolt for amusement for the mirror? Yeah, it's the same, uh, it's the yeah. same type as the ones that are in the mirror. It's so. been used as them. Oh well. I think I'm swinging here. Well, I don't mm. know where it goes. No. And it's all... You have screwed these ones in, haven't you? That one yeah. and that one. Yeah, yeah. So, well, yeah. No, they were two little silver ones. Yeah, just screws, aren't like... they? This is a bolt, isn't it? Yeah, it's like an anodized looking one. Yeah. But yeah, oh, well. that's all there. Uh... It's all solid. Yeah. That together in one piece. Fully bolted up. Fully fitted. And, more to the point, fully flush. That's a rarity. Well, it always was with my Golfs and my Ford Orions and Sierras and things. So yeah, just need to put the cover back on there, put the various clips in, give it a bit of a hoover and then it's pretty much there. So there you have it, as you can see, we had to remove the back seat, but we've managed to get the rear panel back in. It slid straight in when you realigned this, this, and there's a mount at the front as well. This. But as you can see, it's all flush. All it needs now is popping back on, bolting up, and so on. But we'll do that tomorrow. All in all, a rather productive day. I mean, I'd say 90% of the dint is gone. And if we put a livery on there, say Planet Auto, it will look very cool indeed. That's our first part of the build of the EJ9. As you can see, we've repaired the dints. We've taken out the interior so we could actually get to the door cards. And we've put in loads of other bits as well. So yeah, we've just neatened up as we've come across, haven't we? Yeah. So, yeah, if you've got any projects for us with the EJ9, please shout below. Put a comment saying what you'd like us to do, and uh, we'll have a go. As long as it's not something mental like uh, hover jets. Yeah, or maybe even an engine conversion. We want to keep this as stock as possible. Well, yeah. stock as in same engine, but we'll, we're open to tweaks, suspension, you know, rated strut braces, all that type of stuff, roll yeah. cages, livery, you name it. Um, any ideas? Comment below. Thanks. Please subscribe to the channel as well.